A new right back was on the transfer wish list for most Manchester United fans this summer. And it looks like Jose Mourinho is going to make FC Porto's 19-year-old right back, Diogo Dalot, his first summer signing. Now, the story was first reported by Jason Burt, who writes for The Telegraph. A few years ago, he reported first that Juan Mata was joining Man United from Chelsea. Now, he is saying that Man United have activated a 20 million euro release clause that exists in Dalot's contract and also goes on to say that Man United and Dalot have already agreed personal terms. Furthermore, he suggests that there was strong interest from the likes of Juventus, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and that Man United and Jose Mourinho have moved quickly to try and secure Dalot's signing. But who is he? What type of player is Diogo Dalot? Now, Delot has been described as a modern-day fullback who is comfortable in attack. Good delivery and an eye for goal and has operated in midfield as well. Comfortable on the left and the right-hand side of defence. He joined Porto's academy in 2008. Won honours with the under-17 Portuguese national team who were crowned champions in 2016. And also played in the under-20 World Cup the following year. Now, he was bought as a replacement for the uh, Leicester-bound Ricardo Pereira on the right-hand side for next season. But... He's actually been pushed into the first team this year. Made a Champions League appearance against Liverpool. I think he played left back there. Um, but he's only made a few first team appearances. So he's not an established first team player. But you know what it's like with these Portuguese players in the Portuguese club, certainly. They put massive release clauses on young talents that end up getting snapped up by teams elsewhere. Look at Renato Sanchez as one big one. Uh, William Carvalho was another one, but no one ended up signing him. But United certainly need a right back. And if Mourinho has chosen to sign a 19-year-old right-back in the lot, it shows that he doesn't want to directly replace and immediately replace Antonio Valencia next season. It means he wants to bring somebody in who can offer competition in that place. Do you agree with that or would you rather see Valencia directly replaced? You know, in the last few years, there haven't been many more consistent players than Antonio Valencia. It's just that he's not good enough as a modern-day right-back to really offer both in defence and attack. Defensively, very strong. Always in position, powerful, always wins the ball back. But his crossing is really poor. Every time he gets to the right wing, he passes backwards. He's lost that ability to take a man on or to get a cross in without looking up. He just fires a cross in. Now, can Delot solve those problems at 19? Probably not straight away. But he's going to be brought in to bolster the options. And the fact that he can play left back and right back, that can't be a bad thing. But what do you think about this? Are you underwhelmed by it? For me... It's a smart signing. We need a right back. It might not be the glamorous signing that anybody wants, maybe a powerhouse central midfielder or a new right winger. But Man United need a new right back. And we also need a new left back this summer. So fingers crossed, this is the first of a few defenders because maybe you could do with another centre back as well. But what do you think about Delot? Hopefully we'll have another video up soon offering a bit more insight on Diogo Delot. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've watched him, let me know some more insight as well. Drop a like on the video. Sorry there haven't been that many videos recently. I've been away at a wedding. What can you expect? I'm back though, so let me know what you think in the comments.